Now, time for governors of Florida. First, we have the Federal Military Commissioner of Florida, Andrew Jackson. Yes, he was president at one time. Then we have some territorial governors, these people. And we got into the actual governors of Florida. <coughs> okay. William Dunn Malsbury, Democrat. Thomas Brown, he was independent. He was a Whig. And James E. Booney, our Democrat. Mason Stake Perry. Yeah, October 5th to October 7th, 1827 to 61. <clears throat> Abraham Alderson to 18, April 1st to May 19th. Resigned to go into hiding after approaching Union troops. So from May 19th to July 13th, the office was vacant. Then we have a independent, William Marvin, <laughs> then things went back to normal with the Democrat, David Shubley Walker, they had a Republican, Harrison Reed, then another one, Austin Bailey Hurt, and Markless Storms, this lasted from... 1868 to 1877, this Republican sedent. <laughs> Sorry. Sedent. Then we went back to Democrats with George Franklin Drew, <coughs> William D. Boxen, Box, Boxlem, Boxem, Edward. Elvis Worthy Perry, 1885 to 1889. Francis P. Femling, a Democrat, 1889 to 93. <coughs> Henry Mitchell, 1893 to 97. And Boxley again, 1797 to 1901. 1901 to 1905 was William Sherman Jennings. <coughs> Napoleon Bonaparte <laughs> Baldwin. I don't know if he's actually related to Napoleon, but that's funny. 95 to 1909, 1909 to 1913. William Albert Gerstgiltrigas. Parker Temwell, 13 to 17. Then we have Prohibition Party. This guy, Sidney Johnson Katz, 17 to 21. Prohibition was the party that, and still is the party, that is <coughs> the party that wants to ban alcohol. Yeah. You, if you know anything about the first time when the United States banned alcohol and how horribly that went, you, you... Uh, just, there were gangs all over, mob bosses, it was a mess. Alcohol wasn't banned. It was banned, but it didn't stop actually anyone from drinking it. <sighs> Sorry. Okay, I should stop that. Moses. There are locos. A camel, apparently. <clears throat> and they're the oldest third party in the United States of America. <laughs> Harry Hardy, 21 to 25. John Will Martin, W. Martin, 1925 to 1929. Dole Carton, 29 to 33. All of these are Democrats, by the way. Dave Soltz, 33 to 37. Fred P. Cohn, Fred P. Cohn, 37 to 41. Strepitz Holland, 41 to 45. Miller Caldwell, 45 to 49. Filler 
Warren. Okay. 49 to 53. <coughs> Daniel Thomas McCarthy, 53 to 53. He died in office, apparently. So, <coughs> don't say how. Just say he died in office. Carly, Charlie Eugene Johns, 53 to 55. Leroy Collins, 55 to 61. Kelsey Barrett, 50, 61 to 55. And we have William Hadron Burns, 55 to 67. 65 to 67. <coughs> and we have a Republican with Claude Roy Kirk Jr., 67 to 71. And we have Ruben Askew, a Democrat again, to 71 to 79. 79 to 87. Bob Graham. <laughs> this guy. Wayne Mixon. 87 to 87. For, is this his successor to Dolphin? He's a Republican. It does not say. Why? Oh, yeah, this guy resigned <coughs> to be in the Senate, and this guy just finished out his term. Okay. Bob Mates, Democrat, no, Republican, 687 to 90, 1991. And we have Lawton Mayor Carls Jr., 1991 to 1998. Buddy McKay, whose name is Keith Hood, 1998 to 1999. <clears throat> yes, that's a short term. Let's see what the explanation is. McKay was a candidate in the eight, 1988 election, but lost. Okay, after he was succeeded after Charles elected, but before his successor took to office. Okay. Oh, because the guy before him died in office. Oh, so again, he just took over. Then we have the all famous Jeb Bush. John Elias Bush. 1999 to 2007. He was the governor during the whole Bush v. Gore election. That election is also why that Republicans are red and Democrats are blue. That those were just the colors chosen at the time because it's Political parties didn't have any colors at the time. And because it was a stalemate for so long and ingrained in so many people's heads. Yeah. <clears throat> then we have Chris Christie. Yeah, Republican. Republican. From 2007 to 2011. We have Rick Scott, currently senator for Florida. 2011 to 2019. No, oh, had time became done at midnight rather than inauguration. Okay. 19. Then we have current Ron DeSantis, who is running for president currently. His term officially expires in 2027. <laughs> So if he doesn't become president, that's when he will expire and Florida will see a new governor. But if he does become president, then Florida's first woman governor would take over. It, well, it, Juliet Nazu, this lady. <coughs> As he would need to take office in 2020. Five. Yeah. Five, obviously. <laughs> yes. So, in total, Florida has 46 governors. Yes. 46. It appears most of the... Earth. 
Only Bob, Buddy, Bush, Charlie, Chris. Did I say Chris Christie? Yeah, <laughs> the governor. The governor. Chris. Rick Scott and of course DeSantis are all still alive. Florida is also the third most populated state in the entire United States of America. It joined March 3rd, 1845. The next state is Texas. Now when saying Texas, you have to say it right. If you don't say it was the biggest Texan accent you can imagine, <laughs> you're not saying it right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> see you next time for Texas's governors. <clears throat> yes.